These two teams are meeting up once again, everybody. The New York Yankees taking on the Houston Astros. This time, the Yankees will be at home. The first time these two have met up this season was to begin the season. The Yankees walked into Houston and swept the Astros in four games. So right now, the Yankees own the tiebreaker between these two teams if there was a tie come playoff time. But we're in the now. We're in the present. Three game set coming up. This is the series breakdown here on Max Coverage TV. If you are a Yankees or a baseball fan in general, hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell. You get notified when I go live and when I make videos like this. Thank you for checking out the video. Hit that like button as well. So let's get right into it, everybody. What's the tale of the tape between these two teams? The pitching has been abysmal for the Houston Astros. That is the main reason they have been so bad to start this season. Their whole starting rotation was banged up to begin the season, and they're still dealing with injuries. Verlander was on the shelf. He's finally back healthy. They were at, without Framber Valdez for a couple of weeks with an elbow issue. Now Christian Javier is on the IL. Urquidy has been hurt. Uh, McCullers, you name it, man. Their whole starting rotation has been banged up. They're in the bottom five in Team ERA, ranked 26 right now as I'm recording this video. On the flip side, the Yankees dealing with injuries as well with Garrett Cole, Tommy Canely, Nick Birdie, three key guys, but their ERA is ranked number three in all of MLB. The pitching has done phenomenal for the Yankees. They have kept this ship afloat and kept it going. The Astros hitting-wise has been top-notch, man. They're top 10 in batting average, OPS and slug. You know how baseball is, everybody. If you don't have the pitching, it's going to be a tough time for you to win any ball game there is. I do think the Houston Astros will probably make a late season push to make the playoffs if they can get their starting rotation healthy, if they can get these pitchers back on the mound. Let's break down who's going to be starting for each game for both teams pitching wise. And let's talk about the matchups and stuff like that. So this is game one. Justin Verlander will be taking on Luis Heal. If you haven't been watching Yankees baseball, Luis Heal has been phenomenal, man. He is the fifth guy taking over for Cole until he's back healthy, sporting a 3.19 ERA. He has some good stuff. The one thing about him is the walks. If he keeps the walks down, which he has been the last two outings, he has some really good stuff on the mound. And if you're an Astros fan, if you don't know who Luis Heal is, it's going to be a fun game. I mean, I'm telling you this much. This guy can throw 99 miles per hour. Solid guy. Change up. Fastball. He sometimes throws that slider. This kid is really good. Uh, we all know Justin Verlander, what this guy is. He's a walking first ballot Hall of Famer. Sporting a 2.08 ERA and 17 innings of work. The strikeouts, 13, 7 walks. The Yankees have a tough task on their hands. Justin Verlander is no slouch whatsoever. So game one will be on TBS Tuesday night. 7.05 p.m. Eastern Time. I already alluded to how good the bats have been for the Houston Astros. Jose Altuve has been their top guy, man. On the other hand, you already know who that guy is. Juan Soto. He has been phenomenal. He leads basically every single category for the Yankees offense. I'm talking about batting average, slug, on base, RBI, runs. Like he just, he leads pretty much this whole team. He's got a 316 average, 421 on base with a 559 slug. So this two right here, it's going to be a little heavyweight matchup right here. So game one, man, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, Verlander versus Hugh. I'm, an, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty excited about it. Let's go check out game two on Wednesday night, 7.05 p.m. Eastern time as well. Spencer Aragetti, their young guy they brought up because of all the injuries. He's taking on Carlos Rodon. Rodon, last outing. Had a tough time. He got beat up a little bit. Gave up some home runs. Sporting a 3.68 ERA. Spencer Arigetti, though, if their starting guys, starting rotation guys are giving up this much ERA, I mean, you can't win ball games. 21 strikeouts for him to 10 walks. On the other side, Carlos Rodon, 36 strikeouts to 14 walks. Game two should go to the Yankees if this guy is sporting an 8.27 ERA. I mean, come on, Yankees. We can take care of this guy easily here in the Bronx. And then game three, we have Ronel Blanco, who's been their bright spot for the Houston Astros, taking on Marcus Stroman, who has been struggling of late. The last couple of outings for him, he's sporting over five ERA, but in the season, 3.41 ERA, 35 strikeouts, 20 walks. The walks have been the issues with Marcus Stroman. He walked 
five or more batters back-to-back -back outings, and that was the first time in his career that he's done that since like 2017. So hopefully Marcus Stroman can get back on track because Blanco, that 0.96 whip is no slouch. This guy can throw. He threw a no-hitter this season already. Going to be a tough series for the Yankees. This is going to go down to the wire. I do think the Yankees will win this series two out of three. I don't think they're going to sweep the Houston Astros again. But as long as they can win this series, win it two games to three, I'll take that any day of the week. Let me know your thoughts down below. Drop me some comments and also subscribe. Ring that bell and hang out with me more throughout the season. I'm telling you, if you, if you like the Yankees, if you like baseball, this is the channel to tune into. Thank you all. Let's go, Yankees. It's going to be a fun series, everybody. I'm out of here. Peace.